It's Greece, it's the Bronze Age, the Achaeans are angry, that must mean one thing, we're back in Troy. But hold on, is that a harpy? Why is Prometheus getting his liver pecked out over there on the horizon? And wait, what's that doing there? Oh, I get it, I'm playing in mythological mode. So does that mean over in historical mode everything is more realistic and armies led by generals rather than buffed up heroes? Yep, guess so. Well, back in mythological land, I'm playing as Hector, and it looks like some things never change. I've got to compete against my brother Paris for the favour of our dad so he makes me king. Which is a bit rich, considering I never kidnapped a Spartan queen and started a war that threatened the very existence of our kingdom. Ah, talking of which, the Achaeans will be on their way shortly to lay siege to the sacred city of Troy. So, I'll need to build up an army of Herculean proportions to come and save the day. Let's go see what mythical units I can find to fill the ranks. Starting off, we got some noisy neighbours to the south, on the island of Lesbos that I've got to go and deal with. Let's train up a few troops and ship out. These Bacarians aren't all that, so my luck can defeat them pretty easily. But, hello, what's this discarded Titan armour doing over here? Well, that was a success, and it turns out this Harpy liked my war waging, and I can now construct a Harpy Lookout, which will let me recruit them. This mechanic is the same as in the main game. But, instead of ground-based skirmishes, the new mythical harpies are fully-fledged flapping fiends. As cool as they are though, I'm going to need something a bit more heavy duty to fend off Menelaus and his mates. Hold on, a new buttard has appeared. Monster selection? Yes please. Here you can choose to play one of three new mission paths available on mythical campaign mode, where you can choose to hunt down one of three legendary monsters. The father of all griffins, the Lernian Hydra, and Cerberus, guardian of the gates of hell. Complete the mission and the massive monster is added to your army, and you're able to recruit specialist units like the Shades and Elysium Infantry which are activated by Cerberus. And, as if that's not enough, you'll also unlock specialist buildings that'll give you buffs for your beast. Then it won't matter whether I'm king or not, I'll have a huge monster. I fancy a stab at getting myself a Hydra. So, I'll recruit a fearless hunting party and launch the expedition. Every now and then I'll get updates on how they're getting on. In the meantime, let's find some more minor monsters for my army. Apparently, some chap called Chewy Machos has returned to his homeland, sweating poison and babbling about serving a mother. I don't like the look of this. Let's kill him and reap the reward of a Hydra Priest for our big army later on. <laughs> My hunting party have reached a crossroads and need a bit of guidance. I'll get a series of these dilemmas during my mythic expedition, and the outcomes I choose will have an effect on my forces. Here, my hunting party have entered Lerna, a land once famed for its fecundity, but now poisoned by the spurned Hydra. Apparently, not many people pass by this way, and long story short, I can attempt to look for help amongst locals, or tell my soldiers to toughen up a bit. I'm going to take a risk and recruit a wandering centaur tribe to join my party. It could backfire, but to take down a Hydra, I'm going to need a bit of mythic firepower myself. Turns out the local centaur tribe have a bit of a PR problem they want to rectify, and have gladly joined my expedition, granting my hunting party a unit each of centaur elders and savage centaur warriors. Lucky me! Meanwhile, let's upgrade my settlements. There are some building chains I can update in my capital, which will allow me to recruit more advanced units, and by upgrading Antandros to a level 3 settlement, I'll complete a mission, which will give me a new elite unit in the special recruitment pool. Okay, we're on. My hunting party have survived all their challenges and have found the resting place of the dreaded Hydra. Luckily for them, they don't have to take it down on their own. Hector and his army are poised to swoop in and claim the glory all for themselves with one click of this button. But that's exactly what the Hydra wants me to do. Look at my army, a ragtag band of swordsmen and skirmishers. They'll get eaten alive. First, let's take out this guy, Alshneos, and reap the reward of a lesser griffin. Once my capital reaches level 4, I'll unlock some renowned swordsmen, and now we're really talking. I'll have a few of these, and then treat myself to some Elysian Spearmen, Guards of Troy, Lesser Griffin and a Hydra Priest. Now that's what I call a monster mashing army. Let's go Hydra hunting! Hector's army have been plonked in this dank swamp just outside the Hydra's lair, and my trusty band of adventurers are bringing up the rear. I've got two armies of Venom Drinkers headed my way, who I've got to kill to get to the Hydra. Let's make a defensive line here using this conveniently placed rock to protect my left flank. 
What these guys lack in good looks, they make up for in their ability to self-heal and poison others. Charming. Anyway, after a quick scuffle with my troops, they leg it, and I get myself a Hydra. Ah, that was surprising eat. Oh, no way. No, they're everywhere. And I'm surrounded. Ah. And there's the Hydra, and it's huge. Uh, well, if I stand and fight, I'm going to get slaughtered. So, it's time for a change of tack. Ironically, unlike the Hydra, I can take this army down by beheading it. To do that, I need to bring down the Hydra and kill the Hydra priests. I'm going to use my spear units to keep these venom drinkers busy, while my sword masters make a break for it and take on the Hydra. The Hydra has an impressive venom spitting attack, which is making mince meat of my swordsmen, so my lesser griffin swoops in to cover the men on their approach. Meanwhile, these Hydra priests are taking some beating, and my men are being knocked down by their poison rituals. In go the harpies to try and rip them apart. I brought up my own Hydra Priest to use its regenerative mixture on my griffin, as the Hydra shows little sign of wavering. The few sword masters that made it to the Hydra don't last long before they run for their lives, and the Hydra is pressing home the advantage. If only we had some kind of hero. Hector, where are you? Oh, there he is. They're more scared of you than you are of them, although I'm not sure that works here because this Hydra is absolutely terrifying and my army is dwindling pretty rapidly. But, just in time, my Swordmasters rally and return to the fight for one last push, and the Hydra is down. Hector is pretty pleased with himself, even though that was definitely a team effort, but hey, that's not how Greek storylines work. Anyway, Marius might have kidnapped the most beautiful woman in the world, but I've captured myself an angry giant nine-headed snake thing. Well, the Achaeans are here and Troy calls. Let's see how they stand up to my mythical legion. Which monster will you hunt?